proposed change to Buffalo school speed zone cameras may be coming before they even go live. Currently, cameras will be allowed to ticket a driver throughout the school day, but a proposal being considered by the Buffalo Common Council would make it only a ticketable offense during the beginning and end of a school day. Either way, one Village of Kenmore resident is taking matters into her own hands, regardless of the laws being put on the books. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ali Tui shares her story. From lunch at the Curtis Hotel to shopping in the Elmwood Village. I love the city. I am a city girl at heart. Village of Kenmore homeowner Elena Greco used to love driving into the city of Buffalo. That is until city leaders approved speed zone cameras in 14 school zones. I refuse to go into the city during school hours. We're not going to risk getting a ticket. We're not going to deal with that stress. I have enough stress in my life, health issues and things like that. I'm, I don't need any extra stress. The cameras aren't live yet. So far, drivers caught going more than 26 miles per hour in a school zone have only received a warning. The city is still working to install flashing beacons and proper signage to alert drivers they're on camera. Still, Common Councilman Rashid Wyatt says his office has received a lot of complaints. So he's proposing to enforce the law not the entire school day, but from 7.30 to 9.30 or the start of school and 2.30 to 4.30 p.m. or during school dismissal. The whole day thing I just think is overkill for the most part. Common Council President Darius Pridgen agrees. At the end of the day we're talking about safety for children and the most vulnerable time for children are when they are going into school and when they're coming out. A spokesman for the mayor says he's still reviewing the data and the proposal before making a decision. That proposal will now go to committee and it would likely not be voted on by the Common Council for at least two weeks. Reporting in Buffalo, Allie Tui, 7 Eyewitness News.